Great kid, don't get cocky. Here we are, everybody. Issue 64. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what we got going on in this issue. So in this issue, we'll talk about the uh, Cygnus Spaceworks ETA class shuttle. And the, I believe the ETA class was what uh, kind of started the Lambda class. So there you go. Um, yeah. And then we're going to visit Malastair. Malastair is kind of a interesting place. Let's check. We'll check that out. Um, yeah. Then, let's see here. Uh, communication devices. So that'll be kind of cool. Let's see what we can learn about that. Um, let's go ahead and get into this next one. So, here's our parts for this one. Let's make sure we have everything. I don't want to repeat the last time and have to hunt stuff down. So, for some reason, I've got two pieces of plating. I'm not sure why. Top plating 12. Maybe I already have this one? I don't know. It's not supposed to be in this in this issue. And then I've got uh, top plating 26. Uh, this is 19. That's definitely not 19. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, so then we've got our framework. This little piece of... Uh, I don't even think that's the right rib work. We might have to check that because that doesn't look correct. Bunch of screws. Uh, I just pretty much grabbed all of them that I could find. And, yeah. So since I was at dragging the bottom of the barrel over there and my, uh, my equipment, well, we may have to adjust fire here. So in this issue, we're just going to be putting on some some uh, hull pieces or not hull pieces but some of the framework let me just see if I got any rib pieces in any of these other sections here if I do I will definitely need to be using them yay I do have one. So as I mentioned before, these are all the pieces that my brother had. And so his were all the first uh, four shipments, which was 16 issues. So this was one of the first 16. I don't know which one it is, but alas... I get to reap the benefits of him actually starting it and then deciding not to finish getting all the parts. So I have a handful of extra parts and so whenever I need to try to get something painted or whatnot so that I can actually use it for uh, testing things, uh, I have that as an option. That's what I did with this one. I used one of his old ones. <laughs> And uh, broke that out so I could test it. All right, so we've got an actual rib piece that we need. Let me get this stuff set off to the side. 
and we'll pull over the um, we'll pull over the the frame and start working on it. Be back in a moment. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and see what we got to put on here. So this first one, it's going to go up here. So starting off, we'll just need a couple of screws. That'll be easy enough to accomplish. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say in the, probably in 65, we'll get these last pieces here. This one will probably go over there and then there'll be a piece down here. That's what I'm going to say for that. That is actually all of the parts that we have to put on this time. So we did, uh, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 screws. That's it. So that's everything for this part. Now we're going to transition and do some more of the detail painting uh, on the actual bottom part. So let me move stuff around and we'll do that next. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to show you a few pictures here. So you can see where we're going to be working at. So uh, this first section, we're going to be working along the uh, boarding ramp section. And so you can see that where the, we have these two gray pieces, uh, these dark gray, and then we're going to have this light gray. Um, the next one, we're going to be working in this center area here. And so what we got going on there is... Um, uh, just the light gray in that middle section. And then, uh, finally, we are going to work on the other side in the, the, the port area. And you'll notice that this whole section here is going to be gray. So we're going to do that. So we're going to have, do, uh, two different colors of gray. We're going to do the light gray and the dark gray. And, um, we may also do this center section up here. Let me show you a picture of that one. Um, and it's not really the best picture, but it gives us a pretty good idea of what we need to get painted there. So, um, we'll be doing this little section here and this little triangle there. And then that, there's a piece right here that this will be red and we'll be doing that part. Um. So we might do those. At the very least, we'll do the dark grays up here, and then we can do the red later. Um, but let's just see how far we get. Um, we got a lot to do and a lot to mask off. So let's just go ahead and get started with that and go from there. So let's do some masking.
There we go. That's all the fine taping. Now we got some rough taping to do. So this last little part that I did here on the image, it looks like this part isn't painted. Uh, at least it, I don't have a real great shot of it, but it appears to me that it's not painted. So I wanted to cover that up so we could leave that uh, plain colored. Um, so we'll get the rough taping done and then we can start some painting. All right, there we are. We've got all the rough taping in now, too. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to paint the light color stuff first. So we have three parts that'll be light color. So we have this one here, uh, that one, and then this whole section here. So we're going to paint that with uh, the light ghost gray, Model Master's light ghost gray. And I think that's the color that I used for the other ones. If not, it'll just have to work. Um, and then after that, we'll come back with the Tamaya um, neutral gray. And that'll be our dark grays, these and those. Um, so that way, I'll be able to mask these off and whatnot. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and mask these off here now. Um... I don't want that light gray to get on there. There we go. That'll protect it enough so I can unmask that. So let's go ahead and get this over ready to paint. We'll get it painted and then we'll come back, uh, get the rest of the paint done and ready to get that painted. See you in a bit. All right, here we go. There's the first first one we're going to paint. Here's the last section we're going to do here.
Okay, there we go. All painted. We'll let this dry, then we'll unmask it, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and unmask and see how this all went. Uh, we'll get all the big stuff out of the road first and kind of go from there. So I don't know if I quite gave it enough time to dry, but you know, it should be dry enough to unmask, I would think. I don't really like the idea of leaving the masking tape on for long periods of time. All right, there we go. Let's get this up here. So as of right now, that's everything from here back. I think there's going to be some colors along here, but I'm not 100% sure. I think there's like a gray right there or something. We'll find that out as I review some more of the images. Uh, my tape job wasn't absolutely perfect. Theirs wasn't either. So that's fine. I feel perfectly okay with that. Um, I actually like, like on this one here, so you can see it a little bit. You may not be able to see it. Um, there's a little bit of overspray, and they had uh, several spots that were, had an overspray. So I'm perfectly good with that as well. In fact, this one here, I, I feel like there's a little bit of overspray there, and uh, they didn't really care for it or do anything about it. So. I'm perfectly good with that as well. So, yeah, coming along nicely. Quite happy. All right. That is everything for this issue. Issue 64. Next time we'll be doing issue 65. More framework. Last two pieces. More ribs. And another piece of uh, hull plating. So, we'll see what issue 65 looks like. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And may the force be with you always.